What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Alright you guys, so before I get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Tain Eyewear Company. They sent me over two of their products and I would like to show you guys what they sent me. Here is the packaging and what it came in, it's very sleek. And they also use minimalistic and eco-friendly things for the good of our planet. We stand a great company that loves our planet. Once you open it, you see what you get. In the box, it just comes with the two glasses that I chose out. It comes with two receipts. And it also came with a coupon for your next order off. And they also came with this little towelette thingy. I don't know what it's called, but you basically wipe off the glasses when they get dirty. All right, so the first pair is this cute clear one. It has gold detailing and it's a really sleek. This is something that I would definitely wear. Purr! Y'all see this? Do I look smart or what? You can't tell me I don't look smart in these glasses. So these are called the Danielle Transparent Glasses and they are non-prescription. One of the two pairs of glasses there for blue light so they are to help your eyes when you play on your electronics and stuff. The electronics can wear and tear your eyes and you don't want that to happen. So you wear these glasses to protect your eyes. These are so cute, I can't. Give y'all one last look. The link will be in the description down below so y'all can go get the same glasses that I am wearing right now. I just love the packaging coming in like, like y'all hear that? All right, so here is the next pair and this pair is called Peach. Tane just has its brand name in the corner right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but here is the peach kind. Ooh, <laughs> she is giving. And also with this peach kind, it comes with comes with a gold chain to hook onto the glasses. I really gotta see how to connect it because I didn't, So the gold chain just basically hooks around the glasses so you can have a little chain when you wear it. And this is what they look like with the chain on. I personally like it with the chain off. You know, I'd be walking around and I don't want the chain to be hitting me. But yes, this is so cute. This is good for Valentine's Day because you know Valentine's Day is coming up. So if you guys like the two pairs of glasses that I got, make sure you check them out in the description box below. And let's get into in today's video as you guys can see by the title i will be giving you guys things that i wish i knew before starting college before i get into the video like comment and subscribe for more videos like this and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time your girl posts i'm going to be telling you guys some advice and giving you guys my experience well first off we're going to start off with the first thing i wish i knew that i would not make as many friends as i thought i would my freshman year started 2018 I was a very shy person i still am but i really thought for some reason that I was gonna make a ton of friends. No, literally the total opposite. Nothing changed as far as not having friends, like nothing at all. But I mean, I'm cool with it. But it's just like, don't expect to have friends if you're not like an outgoing person. If you're not the type of person that puts yourself out there and just talks to people, you're not gonna have friends like that. If you do wanna have friends, I would suggest like in organizations or walking up to somebody and saying, hey, or just, you know, being on a sports team or something like that. Find people that match interests with you. Find people that you think are easy to talk to. Find people in your class and, you know, connect with them or whatever. If you do want to make friends, if you are a shy person like me, or you just don't really talk to people first, then I wouldn't expect to make many friends. The second thing I wish I knew before college is not to buy a meal plan. There are so many reasons why I would never buy a meal plan again. But the first reason, the school that I personally attend, they give you $300 just for going there. The second thing, that's kind of a lot, especially during this time, Corona season, where everybody is not really on campus. $300 is pretty much a lot. Many people don't want to travel to school just to get food but another reason why i wouldn't buy a meal plan again the food is trash at the cafeteria you know they suck you in in orientation they make the best food in orientation and as soon as you start school no ma'am that is not gonna work they make you pay a thousand dollars for a dry hamburger of some fruit like no so i would suggest saving your money and actually going out to buy your food because you will not get your money's worth with a meal plan and plus with the meal plan that i got for my school freshman year you got a meal plan you got three hundred dollars and then you got another three hundred dollars so that's sixteen hundred just for one semester on food i don't know i 
I personally don't need $1,600 for um, food like that. I'm just saying. $1,600, that's a lot. And if you don't really eat food like that, you're going to find yourself at the end of the semester trying to spend all that money. If you can't spend that much money, hey, go for it. This leads me to my next point, which is freshman 15 is real. My freshman year, many people don't even believe me when I say I gained 10 pounds. I don't think they believe me because they literally see me every day and I gradually change. So since I gradually change, of course, they're not going to, you know, see the difference in my face i had 1600 dollars to eat and i ate every day every second i had a whole snack drawer i was just constantly eating if i was bored i was eating if i was hungry i was eating if i was doing homework i was eating that is not a good thing to do especially if you want to maintain your weight if you don't want to gain 15 pounds do not eat 1600 dollars worth of food and then don't exercise because that is exactly what i did and i was wondering why i was going around with a round face and that is why all right so the next thing i have on my list is early classes are not as bad as teachers in high school make them out to be 8 a.m that's not really that early like if you think about it i personally wake up at six o'clock i wake up at five o'clock most days so eight o'clock is not really that early to me i would much rather have an 8 a.m than like a 5 30 class a four o'clock class you would much rather want to get your classes done in the morning time versus having to do them at night time so just say your friends are going out and now since you wanted to not get the 8 a.m class you got to go to class while they're going out so i would say just get your classes done early get them done on time then you're gonna be so much happier about your schedule you're gonna be happy with yourself that you got done with your classes at a great time the next one i have on my list is to get a planner it is hard to miss assignments when you have them written down right there in your face it is so easy to forget assignments if you're just trying to remember them off the top of your head week by week you are not gonna remember all of those assignments if you have five classes if you have five classes i know good and well you have assignment each and every week and if you try to remember five classes assignments in your one small head and then you got everything else going other than school you're not gonna remember that so just get a planner get your syllabi and write down all the assignments that you have on your planner if i would have did that like i do that now my freshman year i would not have missed any assignments since I didn't do that I kept on forgetting what assignments need to be done so I kept on finding myself emailing my teacher telling me telling them could they reopen the assignment which they did because they're very sweet and they knew I was a freshman but some professors aren't that nice and that goes to my next bullet point some professors are sweet some professors are mean so don't listen to your teachers in high school saying yeah college professors aren't gonna hold your hand which they aren't like they're not as bad as teachers make them in high school the way teachers in high school explained best just to be I just thought there was gonna be monsters. They would say, you can't even write in pencil in classes. They used to tell me that all the time. Now that I get in college, we don't even use pen or pencil. So that was just all bold information when they used to go to school. And secondly, it just depends on the person, literally. Whoever the person is, they're just, if they nice, if they got a nice personality, of course they are gonna mess with you, you know, help you get your grades. But if they are crappy teachers, but especially this time, COVID and stuff, if they like horrible teachers, then they just gonna be horrible teachers but that's how they are in general. So I really wish I knew that teachers was just generalizing professors instead of actually telling me that, oh, maybe you get a professor that helps you, maybe you don't. You will meet so many sweet professors as well as crappy professors. Yeah, so just don't generalize all professors. Also make sure you stay on your A-game as well. All right, y'all, so another thing I wish I knew before I started college was that you have so much freedom. You literally have to manage all the time you have. You are the person that manages your time at that point. You don't have like a schedule. I mean, you do have a schedule, you make your schedule, but as far as like, you know, your mom telling you, oh, you gotta do this, you gotta go to school, you gotta do your homework, then you know eat whatever you don't have that in college like you literally do everything on your own so you are the only person you can blame you have so much freedom in college like it's just not even a joke like i say it went from you know having a set schedule every day to having um just like a schedule where i just have to plan it out by myself i don't know it's pros and cons to it it's mostly pros because i do like having a lot of freedom by myself so just make sure you manage your time wisely so the next thing i wish i knew before i started college was not to get discouraged on one bad grade it happens to everyone it happens to the best of us. You know, you make a bad grade, you didn't do as well as you thought you would do. It's okay, you literally can do nothing about it. You literally can't do nothing about it, but just move on and make a better grade next time. I had to learn this myself though. I'm still learning it myself. You can't dwell on a grade. And I know it's very hard not to dwell on a grade because it's like a grade is going in the grade book. But if you are doing well in the class and that is like one of your first bad grades, then it's okay. You know, you got plenty more to make and you got plenty more to do before the end of semester. You are not the only one that's 
maybe making a bad grade. You know, it's multiple people in the classroom. They probably made a bad grade too. Don't be that hard on yourself. Just do better next time. Keep pushing and finish strong. The next thing I wish I knew before I started college, you are not obligated or you don't have to attend every event that comes up. You don't have to attend every party. You don't have to attend every event that the college throws. You have to have your priorities straight. If you have homework, do your homework first. And if you can go, then you can go. If you got work first, you should make your money first before you worry about what your friends is doing. There are gonna be plenty more events that you can attend and plenty more things that you can do with your friends, but you need to have your priorities set first. It's just so many things to do throughout the semester. You don't wanna mess up with the things you actually have to do, but like the fun things or whatever. Throw that out the window, clear your head, get your priorities straight, and then you can have fun. And I know people have like phobias and stuff of missing out. Don't feel like you're missing out. You're not missing out on nothing. Literally the same thing that's happening at this event is gonna happen at this event. The same music that they playing at that event is definitely gonna be played at that event. Reuse songs, reuse everything, reuse people. They come into every event. You're not missing nobody. You are paying literally thousands of dollars to get your college education and you wanna waste it because you think somebody is gonna be there. You think new songs are gonna be played. You think new things are gonna be done. New drinks are gonna be drank. You're not. It's so many more opportunities, babe. Do your work. The next thing I have on my list is to not feel awkward when you walk into places alone. Literally, nobody's looking at you. I mean, they might look at you for a second, but they're not gonna stare at you. They're not even gonna think about what you're doing. They're not worried about what you're doing. So just don't feel awkward. I've always felt awkward walking into places alone, but once you get used to going to college and stuff and just walking in places, you don't you don't think about none of that. And they're not thinking about you. Just look around, literally. Look around and see that nobody is looking at you. And you will feel so much more comfortable just walking in and sitting down and eating. This also is in the same boat. You don't need friends to do anything with. Like you don't always need friends by your side. Friends are not always gonna be there. Like they're gonna be in class. They're not gonna be there to get food with you every single time that you wanna get food. So you're gonna have to do stuff alone and independently. These next few, they're gonna be mainly towards like professors. So my first one is communicate with your professor. I wish I knew to communicate with my professor when I needed help, but I definitely learned that soon. Um, don't be afraid to contact your professor if you need help or if you have a question or anything like that make sure you look at the syllabus before you email your professor because it might be there likely it's going to be there your question but if it's not definitely email them because you're paying your money to be there so you shouldn't be scared to ask them questions like i said some professors are so sweet they will be more than happy to communicate with you answer your questions tell you what you need to know and everything like that so i also wish i knew that some professors teach and some don't i have heard that like before i graduated high school i did hear that I mean, a lot of professors don't teach, but I really didn't take that like seriously because I'm like, how are they not gonna teach? But it's just 50-50, like I said, it depends on the person. Some people teach and some don't. And sometimes you gotta go home, teach yourself, and some professors, that you'll learn everything within the 50 minutes of the class. It just depends on the person you get. So the next thing I wish I knew is to use Rate My Professor. I think I actually did know to use Rate My Professor. Rate My Professor is such a lifesaver. Like you know what teachers are trash and you know what teachers you can look forward to seeing. Rate My Professor will tell you everything you need to know about the teacher, whether they give hard work, whether their level of teaching you know, up to par, whether they will help you or whether they'll just leave you hanging. You will know that using Rate My Professor. All right, so the next thing I wish I knew before I started class. I really should have put this in like the beginning of the video, but do not, do not, do not buy the textbook before the class starts. That is literally one of the worst things you can do. I don't know what the kids in my classroom be thinking when they be like, oh yeah, I bought the book. And like literally they haven't even started the first lecture yet and they already got the book in their hand. Why would you do that? Why would you waste your money like that? Now you just don't even know if you're gonna be using that book. It's a couple of books that I bought. Not before the class started, definitely. I'm just not the type of person to do that. But I have bought a book thinking I was gonna have to use it. Like they literally told me I had to buy it. And they acted like I had to use it. But they didn't even use not one lecture out of that book. Put the slides on the screen. They have PowerPoints and they have the textbook. They will go from the PowerPoint and literally the information is in the PowerPoint. So you just bought the textbook for no reason. Personally, I would say buy the textbook when the first assignment is coming up. Like if you know you have to buy the textbook for the assignment, I mean, then buy it, but that's if you 100% know you're gonna use it. They're just talking about readings and stuff. Literally, they're probably gonna already have a PowerPoint based on the reading that you already did to summarize the reading. But you know, to each his own. If you wanna buy the book anyways, more power to you. But for the people that wanna save their coin, do what I say. All right, y'all, so this is some
something that I definitely wish I knew before college. I wish I knew that some classes, you will not know your grade until literally the last week of school. Some professors will literally wait until the last day to put in assignments. You will be failing the whole class semester and you won't even find that out until the last week of school. If you do want a great update, just make sure you ask them where you're standing in the classroom, if, especially if you don't think you did very good on an assignment, if they had graded the things, because maybe they graded it and they just don't put it in, being lazy. Whatever it is, you probably won't know your grade to the last minute. So the next thing I wish I knew before I started college was to at least have two people's contact in each class so we are all human we are all human beings and for some reason sometimes we can't make every single class period sometimes you have to miss it for if you're sick or if you just you know didn't make it in time cool but at least have two people you know two people's contact information to get to get what you missed that day you can literally miss so much just missing one class period professors will literally say a whole semester's worth of information in one class period and that will literally be the class period that you absolutely needed for that semester and if you missed it and you don't have anybody's contact information then you just don't know how to catch up so if you have two people's contact information now you can text them ask them what you missed ask them what you need ask them what you need to do and you will be caught up don't just miss a class period and then walk in the next day like nothing ever happened because there might have been some valuable information that you missed that day just talk to the person next beside you in front of you behind you and say hey can i get your number whatever i can to contact you with and they will definitely give it to you all college students have been there all college students be like hey what did i miss and they get your number boom y'all good and now you got a friend in the class all right y'all so the last point that i have for this video build a schedule that best fits you don't build your schedule based on your friends because the first couple of years they're going to have generic classes and a lot of them you know you're going to see your friends base it on what best fits you if your friend has like a break in between your classes maybe you don't want to break in between your classes maybe you want to get your classes knocked out the way you should do that because what if you have like work after day and they don't have work after day you just based your schedule on them just because you want to see them for that one hour but now you just threw your whole schedule off just because you want to see them so you're going to see your friend especially if they want to see you y'all can just link after class or whatever day you're free make the schedule that fits you i know i see a lot of people that say don't have breaks in between your classes or whatever but if you're the type of person that needs a break create a break in your schedule if you're the type of person that just wants to get three classes out the way that day then do that it just depends on the person you are all right you guys that's the end of this video i know there are so many more things that i wish i knew before college and if i think some more i might do a part two if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see y'all next time. God damn it, DJ, he hit it again.